What is up everyone? Hope everyone out there is safe and I have not made an update video in a while, been busy and a lot of other things are going on in the world to where I'm not really on YouTube right now. But I figured I'd update you on what I've been up to and if you're first time on this channel, pretty much I'm documenting myself learning how to code and also if you're into uh, design as well, specifically UX UI design, then go down below, hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up. But uh, let's get into video. I think this is video number three. And the first two videos, I basically talked about uh, HTML, CSS, and just showed you what I'm working on. Now I'm getting into JavaScript. And if you have not seen on the news or you live under a rock, pretty much everyone in major cities or in other popular places around the world are recommended to stay inside their place. And if you live in actual major cities or different um, countries out there, you literally cannot leave your place. So hopefully you are, if you're in that uh, situation, everything is going well for you, you're safe. And uh, right now I'm uh, in a place where it's pretty popular. I'd say uh, a lot of people live here, but I'm not in quarantine. I know there are, um, I believe LA, people can't leave. I think New York, they're probably either implementing it or they're probably going to. But other than that, uh, at least in the States, I'm not too sure yet, but I'm trying to keep it safe. The groceries, they actually restock. So luckily they have some stuff here, but depending on where you're from, you might want to stock up just in case they don't let you leave your place. Now, um, being inside pretty much the entire day, you can't really do much besides utilize what you have available. So for me, I have my computer, I have my phone, I have my Wi-Fi, and coding. And if you, um, you really don't need anything else besides that to learn code. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm probably gonna spend most of my time because I can't do, I can't just go out to meetups or like meet other people. At least it's not recommended. So figure it updates you on what I've been doing. And here the topic will be on JavaScript. So uh, I've read and I've heard JavaScript where you actually are programming and it requires a lot more thinking than like basic HTML, CSS. Now there's some ways you can get complicated with CSS, but for the most part, learning those two technologies is fairly simple in my opinion. You just start practicing building your own products. JavaScript, on the other hand, this stuff is not the easiest thing to learn. At least for me, because I've been, uh, I've only started for a couple of days now, because I've been like traveling uh, up and about, and plus like stuff going around the world. So it's just like, everything's been chaotic. But I'm starting now to settle in and actually just like go ham and grind on this and try to actually consume and understand everything. So right now, um, I did some stuff on courses. This one is on Udemy and it's the complete JavaScript course 2020. I'm uh, I'm like more than 25%, I'd say complete with this, but uh, some, the first intro stuff, which you can see here, like my notes going through it, it's, it's pretty good. Like I actually could understand what they were for and like if else statements and then um, you know down here, like switch case, etc. And then it got to the point where he started doing certain challenges that, uh, he didn't necessarily teach you like exactly how to do it. He kind of just assumed you could research it. And I, I got completely lost. I'm not gonna lie, I got lost. I was like, oh, I have no idea what he's doing. So some of the stuff I had to look at the solutions, but overall, um, I'm just gonna start it just trying to like get the base going, understanding what I'm doing. And for some reason, I don't know about this is you, but um, let me know if you can relate in the comments below. But uh, for some reason, if videos, if I, uh, especially courses, I can like go through it super quickly, feeling like I know what I'm saying or uh, I'm understanding. I'm even coding it out here. And then like I check the time, it's like, I watch half the course and I don't know what happened. And it's just like, uh, two with videos, I can feel like it feels like, uh, like time is moving way slower. Like I just get distracted after an hour watching a video. I'm just like, oh, I can't, I can't focus anymore. I think it's because, um, I've noticed if it's too complicated, I just lose interest, I get bored. So I have to go find something that's much more like on my level. Two is like, once I lose track of what they're explaining, I have no idea what they're saying. Like, it's just like, I can't go. But uh, what I found is this book, there's a lot of people I've met um, recommended this one. Actually, let me see if this is the right, yeah, right here. Eloquent JavaScript. So um, pretty much 
This is a free JavaScript book that I found. Um, I didn't know it was free, but people were telling me to check this one out to get started. And I found for some reason, like when I read, like learning about code, I can just sit there and read for hours. Like I think um, I normally time myself, right? So if you haven't tried this, I use uh, just Google and just straight up, you know, type stopwatch and just like, usually every 30 minutes or so, I try to take a break, five minute break is a study technique and then go back at it again. But for reading, like I could spend an hour plus, two hours almost just straight, not even going off just because it's weird. Like um, I think reading for me, I can, I can zone in much better. So that's what I'm gonna start focusing on now, trying to find stuff I can actually read and then go to the course afterwards because I don't know about you, but courses, if I, if I lose track, I have no idea what is going on, I'm gone, I'm left. I'm, I'm, I, I lost track and next thing you know it, I'm like 10 videos in, can't even make something myself. So that's what I found here. And then um, let's see, there's another course. Uh, I'm on like a split screen, so it's gonna be complicated, but uh, I think it's from Traverse Media. He's pretty famous if you learn code as well. And it's like a project-based course. And I tried this first, let me, see, let me show you really quick. So basically the entire thing, this was project one where you make this like simple registration form. And this is from scratch. The other course uses, uh, is like mainly on JavaScript. This one actually like we built this entire thing here. Submit button and then I submit it. And basically, you know, it's supposed to register. But if I were to like click off here and I hit submit there, it's gonna say red, which means you can't do this. Now this is the first, I think, JavaScript thing I wanted to go at. I was completely lost. So I like realized I had to go back and uh, learn again what uh, the stuff, cause there's certain sections I didn't learn. Besides like the basic, like numbers, strings, like Boolean, etc., I learned those, but there was like the DOM and a bunch of other stuff I haven't got to yet that he started utilizing. And I was like, oh, I gotta stop the course before I just waste time trying to go through here. So right now I'm literally after I post this video, I'm gonna read through this book, get as far as I can go till I realize I can't understand anymore. And then we'll go back into um, some more courses. And I'll try to, uh, depending on like the timing or what uh, my plan is for like keeping you guys updated, I'll see if I can create something simple just to show you. Cause again, I can't, what is it like the Freeman? I forgot the exact name, the, the te technique where you teach someone what you learned to reinforce that you learned it. Cause I kind of did that with my HTML CSS, which made it a lot easier. But for JavaScript, I'm not at the point yet where I can just build something from scratch. So I figured, let me get to that point and then let me um, show you something basic, like super basic, all right? But aside from that, I mean, nothing fancy going on. Uh, just chilling at the crib, learning this stuff right here. So we got the function action going here. So I'll keep you updated on that, my progress. Let me know if you are learning any skills while you're stuck in your place during this unfortunate event. But if you aren't, definitely um, coding is something out there that people might want to look into if you just happen to find this video randomly. And aside from that, if you have not already, hit that subscribe button, go down below, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know any other cool resources out there for learning code, especially JavaScript and um, any other channels, links, free resources, that'd be dope, paid too. I'll check it out as well. And aside from that, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.